So I just wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side video of a Prusik knot versus a Ropeman 1 on your tether belt or your lineman belt. So starting off with the Prusik knot, the plus with this is it's lighter weight and you don't have any kind of mechanical devices that could possibly fail. The negative with this is a Prusik knot by design, it usually takes two hands and it takes a little bit of fidgeting to get the because when you have your weight cinched down on this on this knot, it makes this really tight. So you have to kind of feed it back through to loosen it up so that you can easily slide it up and down on your rope. Whereas with this Ropeman One, sure it adds a little bit of weight, but I mean look how smooth this is. It makes it really easy to slide up and down your tether bell with one hand. So, it, I mean, it doesn't really get any easier than that. So, I mean, imagine, imagine being on one side of your tree and you need to maneuver to the other side of your tree in your saddle really quickly because a deer is walking by and you got your bow in one hand and you need to let some of this rope out so that you can swing around to the other side of the tree. But you, this has been tightened down from your weight so now you're gonna have to fidget with this, try to loosen it up. It's just, I can imagine that would be a nightmare. So that's where this lineman rope comes in handy. So you can just easily pull up on your rope to tighten it up or loosen, or in that, in that case, you would just pull this up and loosen it up, loosen it up a little bit. So really this rope in one just makes it a whole lot easier to adjust your height on your tether belt and I mentioned uh, the Prusik is not a mechanical device, so it doesn't introduce anything that may fail mechanically. But these Ropeman ones are made for climbing. They're really heavy duty and I really do trust this thing. So I don't really have much of a concern there. The only other thing that I could think of would be because this thing is metal, it does have these teeth. If you were to have a large shock load and for, for whatever reason, I don't know why you would do that in a saddle, but if for whatever reason you had a really hard shock load, I guess it could potentially damage your rope and require you to get a new rope. But I think you'd have to put yourself in a really bad position to have that happen to you. Both systems are tried and true, so there's not really a way you can go wrong. It's just kind of a preference and a luxury item. So nothing wrong with just using a Prusik. And I've tried using the whole tender system where you put a tender on your carabiner and attach it right below. You just, it's supposed to be a one-handed system, but I mean, it, it does work, but it is not nearly as smooth as the Ropeman one. It doesn't get any, any smoother than that. I'm going to be running one on both my tether and, as well as my lineman's belt because it just makes adjusting climbing up the tree that much easier and I highly recommend that if you can afford, the, afford to have two of them. That pretty much sums up my comparison of the Prusik knot and the Ropeman one. If this video helped you, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.